guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books and today I'm here with a book haul for you. It's currently snowing outside and I'm just living my best winter life. Winter is my favorite season, so I'm just in a great mood right now. And so I have a ton of books to share with you. It's good I'm in a good mood because this is going to be a long video. I didn't realize how many books that I've acquired over the past month. It's a lot. You can see this stack. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks around me. So good thing I unhauled all those books. Check out that video that I just posted. I will link it somewhere. But before we get to the video though, I want to share the sponsor of this video, which is Likewise. Likewise is an app that is really cool because it allows you to find things that you might like based on what you've already read or watched and liked already. So of course, as a book reader, I tried out Likewise and checked out their book selections. So it showed up with a screen and I said that I liked romance and it came up with this list of books that was like, click it if you liked it. So of course, there were lots of really popular romances that I really enjoyed. So I went ahead and clicked the ones that I enjoyed and then it generally a bunch of recommendations personally for me to help me find my next read and I think it's a great app to use if you're a kind of person who just like doesn't know what to read next and now I own a lot of books I'm hauling a lot of books but I always don't know what I want to read I'm a mood reader sometimes in the mood for a contemporary romance sometimes it's historical and so I want to read something that I know I'll like though because I have so many books to read that I want to read good books and likewise is a great way to discover new books that are like books that you've read before and they actually but the first recommendation was a book that I'd never heard of before so I was really excited and I really want to check that book out so I think likewise is great if you are trying to find something to read or watch next it works with movies and shows as well that you want it to be similar to something you've already enjoyed what was really cool about the app too is that it generated a list for me as well and I was able to see a bunch of books recommended based off of this list and I'm someone who loves looking at lists of books and finding my next read so that was a really cool feature as well on their app my my profile is Peace Love Books XO, which is the same as my channel, so go ahead and check it out. So make sure you guys check out Likewise. I will link them down below, and thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. All right, now we will get to the books. So I don't know everything about these books. Like usual with all my videos, I do not go through like what every single thing's about. If I know it, I will let you know, or if it's something that I think you guys would be interested in learning more about, I will let you know. But I also bought a lot of historical romances. I don't know how I accumulate so many, but we'll go to get to it. So the first one's from the publisher and that is the new Nalini Singh. I don't know if this is a brand new one, but it is Archangel's Light. So it is in the mass market. The cover is so pretty. I'm going to read this series. I'm three books in. It's a long series though, but hopefully I make it to this book, but I have it now in case I do get through the series. Then this actually came in the mail yesterday. That is Camilla Knows Best by Farrah Heron. This one, the cover is super pretty and it said Jane Austen's Emma goes Bollywood in this delightful retelling of the highly acclaimed author of Accidentally Engaged. So it is an Emma retelling which I really love so I wonder if there's like matchmaking going on. I Emma's fun. Camilla is our heroine and she has elaborate Bollywood movie parties, a dog with more Instagram followers than most reality stars and a job she loves and that sounds like a lot of fun. It sounds like it's going to be a friend's lovers and it says that they're planning the local shelter's puppy prom. There sounds like this just sounds so cute. I'm so excited to read it. Thank you to the publisher for sending this to me. I think it comes out in 2022. It comes out in March and um, I'm excited. Target had their buy two get one free sale so I bought a couple books and one of them actually my sister's already read and that is Defy the Night by Bridget Kemmerer. I really liked her uh, Beauty and the Beast series A Curse So Dark and Lonely so this one came out and my sister really likes reading fantasy so I got this because I knew she would read it as well and I don't know a lot about this one either. I just know it's fantasy. So it says a kingdom divided by corruption, the king desperately holding it together, a girl willing to risk everything to bring it all crashing down. So the kingdom in here, it's a really pretty like metallic-y cover. So I have to read this. The next four came in a box from St. Martin's Press and this one I think was their TikTok box but we have The Insiders which I've already been sent once by them by Tijin which is really funny because Tijin actually is a romance indie author and this one doesn't sound like a normal romance. I think it's more of a kind of thriller story. So they sent me that. They also, what I'm really excited for is One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. This one I'm assuming is going to be in the Good Reads Choice Awards for romance. So I'm excited to have this. It kind of has like time traveling. Someone's like stuck in time. I don't know if she's like a ghost or an actual person. I think she's from the 70s. So that sounds fun and it's sapphic so I'm excited to read this one. Then we have, I was already sent uh, an arc and a finished copy and then I got sent this in their TikTok influencer box. So I talked about that in my unhaul. This is probably going to be unhauled but I wanted to show you that I got it. This is the secret bridesmaid and it's got to do with her being a professional bridesmaid. 
which is a fun trope. And then I also have Not Your Average Hawkeye by Gwenda Bond. It's a rom-com. I'm, I don't know if he's like actually related to the devil or if that's like a figure of speech because it says that he's the prince of hell and son of the devil himself. So is that like literal is, or is this like kind of a uh, fantastical fantasy? I don't know. It could be literal, it could be just like figuratively he's like that. So, I don't know, it says he's a demon, so maybe it is paranormal. I don't know, we'll see. Then my friend on Instagram actually sent me a stack of books that she owns a bookstore. So her bookstore is, let me get the bookmark out. So the bookstore is Q and Willow Books in New York. So I will link their bookstore down below if you wanna go check them out. But she owns the bookstore, I believe, or works at the bookstore, and then went to this convention and got this set of books books but she got two sets so she decided to send all of them my way because they literally they sound amazing so I guess I came to mind when she saw them so there's a lot of Viking romances they're all by Celeste Barkley Barclay and the covers are really pretty and so we have a lot of Highlander books as well and another the Bonnie Highland Temptation and so we have Vikings Highlanders and then we have some pirates you guys, you guys, like, I'm excited. And then we have a spy in the Highland Court, a wallflower at the Highland Court. We have another Viking, another Viking, and then another pirate. And then this this one series looks like really good. This is the spinster in the Highland Court. So I really like these covers and I know that they're indie published and they are historical. So I'm excited to get to those. So thank you so much to my friend who sent them to me. I can't wait to read them. So I usually save most of the historicals for last but I have them everywhere. So we have the first one my mom gave to me. So she pulled out all of her historical Christmas books and I wanted it to read it, so I borrowed it. So it's A Highlander for Christmas by Sandy Blair. This is actually time travel, so he time travels to present day. And she is, uh, like, used to spending Christmas alone. She's an antique stealer, and he shows up. The last thing he remembers was readying for war with a rival clan, so this one sounds so good. And then I got a bunch from my mother again, but she went to a library sale and ended up buying like all of the historical romances because in the libraries in our area, if you uh, get the bag at one of the sales and you're like a friend of the library, patron person paid for you get to fill the bag for eight dollars and it is like literally like a reusable grocery bag like those big ones so she filled it with like 30 or 40 historicals and I just got to pick what I wanted so these are from that and then I don't know where the rest are I think oh some of these are okay so these are some of them that I took from her well not that one okay I don't know where I put the other ones they're in the pile somewhere so the first one is Mary Balog and I really loved this one because it has like this cutout here and then it has a step back and I really want to read some of her books so I did get that and then we have Dukes of Engagement which is an anthology with Stephanie Lawrence Casey Michaels and Delilah Marvel Marvel which I've never heard of the other authors I've only heard of Stephanie Lawrence so that looks really good and then we have another Mary Balog which is One Night for Love and it has actually this step back which my mom was really intrigued by. Um, she asked me if I'd shown this to you guys yet. They're in the water. And we have two other Mary Balog books, which I got a couple or one of these from that estate sale I went to, but I didn't have these two. And these two are pretty. So we have Unforgiven and Irresistible. And the other one I got was Pink. I know that. So I think those are all in the same series. And then we have A Gift of Joy, which is a holiday anthology. It's Virginia Henley, Brenda Joyce, Fern Michaels, and Joe Goodman. I'm excited for that. Give me all the holiday anthologies. Then three were sent by the publisher. So we have Rules for Heiresses by Emily Howard. This one is the second book in the series. I read the first one and it was pretty good. So she has to marry and she's refused dozens of suitors. And now she decides to run away. And he is scorned and shunned by his stepmother and he's sworn never to return to England. But bad luck throws the rebellious heiress into his arms and he learns he's the new duke and marriage might be the best way to avoid scandal. So I don't know if they have a marriage of convenience, but that sounds good. And then I have The Perks of Loving a Wallflower by Erica Ridley. I need to read this now. Like I am so far behind of re reading physically. I am reading uh, Joanna Sheep's new book and it's taking me all week because I've just had no time to physically sit down and read. But this one is a sapphic romance and it is Tom and 
Philippa's story. So Philippa was supposed to marry the guy in book one, the Duke, but she didn't. And Tom is the sister of the heroine in book one. So I'm really excited. She goes by Tommy. I don't know why I was calling her Tom, but it's Thomasina and she goes by Tommy. And she likes to wear disguises. So it's this is gonna be so fun. I'm so excited that I have that one. I also have a Reckless Match by Kate Bateman. I really, really need to read this one. It is a like family rivals to lovers. And I think they've been rivals like since they were children. So this one need to read ASAP. And then a random one I got was The Dreaming Tree. And I I got it because of the cover because it's really pretty and this is by Patricia Matthews and I don't know what it's about to Australia they came so it's in Australia so yeah I bought that then I have some from the publishers and a PR company so I have Don't Fall in Love by Jackie Lau look how cute this cover is I love baking romances and so this is a rom-com he's an actor and his latest film which was a rom-com got not the best reviews and so he needs to take some time off and innovative baker Lindsay meets him when he knocks over two dozen specialty donuts at her bakery and so they end up falling for each other this one sounds really good I'm really excited I love baking romances so then I have the singles table by Sarah Desai I really love her covers they're always gorgeous and like all the flowers everywhere so this is opposites attract in a laugh out loud rom-com I hope these are actually rom-coms and a free-spirited lawyer who is determined to find the perfect match for the grumpy bachelor at her cousin's wedding oh my gosh it's one of my favorite tropes she is gonna find him someone special if he introduces her to his celebrity clients and they're gonna fall in love I love it when it's like I'm trying to help you fall in love but I fall for you instead then Valentine PR sent me three books which is really exciting they sent me end of day by Julie Ann which I really like Julie Ann and I don't even know what this is about and oh they're on a mission together she has new identities and he's a senior master sergeant and her next door neighbor so very interesting that I'm excited for I also got a hard cover of royally yours by Emma Chase I don't know if this is in her royal series that I'm assuming so royally screwed royally match royally endowed I read all those already and I really like them so this is about a princess she's raised to be a queen and she's crowned at 19 but she's not married and she has to get married so that sounds like a lot of fun and then the last one I got sent was the pawn by Skywarn which I think I've actually already been sent this before so it says that he swept into her life like a storm she's auctioned off we are not even close to being done so let's go ahead and get through more of these I got these two from the publisher and they're by the same author we have Big Bad Wolf and then we have Pretty Little Lion and I'm assuming these are paranormal romances they look really good so I have those then a bunch of historicals that these are also from that sale my mom went to that I took I think or else I don't know how I got these I, I don't remember how I got any of these this one was from my mom's sale so this is the Christmas spirit I love this cover and it's pretty short but I'm excited then I have Deadly Illusions by Brenda Joyce. This is just a Brenda Joyce book, so I wanted to have it. I think this might have been from that other library sale I actually went to with my mom. I didn't get a lot because I didn't have a lot of historicals, so I think I only got like three of these from that sale. I got a Julia London, which is Hard Hearted Highlander with a kind of step back there. I just like Highlander romances, so that's why I picked that up. And then I got another Mary Battlelog, which is Truly, and this one is another really pretty step back with like a cutout of hers. And then I have The Bed and the Bachelor by Tracy Ann Warren with this step back. I don't think I've read this author, but I think that Lisa has read the author and enjoyed them. I have a Connie Mason that's more contemporary, I think. Well, like published more recently. Connie Mason has a lot of old historicals, but this is Waking Up with a Rake. So I wanted that to try more Connie Mason. I have Prince Charming by Julie Garwood. I don't know if I have this one in a different cover, but I have this one. And then I have When Dreams Come True by Kathy Maxwell with this back cover, which is so pretty. I really like that. And then I got a nonfiction about Harlequin and romance, and I'm really excited to read it. It is The Merchants of Venus, Inside Harlequin and the Empire of Romance. It actually has like someone painting a setback, and I'm really excited. So it's just all about the history and the empire of Harlequin romance. So I got this used for like $5 on Amazon. And then I have For All Time by Shanna Miles. This one's YA, but it is a soulmates romance I'm pretty sure they like are destined to be together and they relive lives over and over again like thousands of times and it says will they finally discover what it will take to break the cycle so I'm so excited for this the publisher sent this to me and I can't wait to read it then let's go to this one so I have a few book boxes that have come over the past month and the first two 
The first two were in the Halloween box from Hello Lovely. We have a Lady of Rook's Grave Manor, which is super pretty. And then a Morning Glory Milking Farm. I haven't taken them out of the wrapping yet, but these two are the special additions from that box. And then Sophie Lark did send me a copy of There Are No Saints and as a review copy. And I love this one so, so much. It is a serial killer romance. She is an artist and he is an artist. And she was kidnapped by someone and it's their romance. It's so good. I also had to buy myself a copy of Dangerous Temptation by Gianna Darling. This one is a Guardian Ward romance and it's the first in a duet. It's Gianna. It's her new book. Of course I had to buy it. Then two from, I believe this was Bell Book Box. We have a Tijan book. If I can show you, we have Tijan and then we have Megan Brandy, these two. I don't really read these authors, so I might end up giving these away, but these were in their book box. Then I, one of the, these are all out of order, but I got this in the Target's buy two get one free sale. So this is Hooked. This is a Peter Pan retelling and it's Hook and Wendy, I think. I'm pretty sure it's Wendy, but I'm excited to read this. Then I was sent an arc of Good Girl Complex by L. Kennedy. This is her new book coming out in February and it is a college romance. I did not know that because this is, looks like a adult romance. It's from St. Martin's Press, but it says that she has an online business and she's in college and then there's a guy there though, but she has a boyfriend, a longtime boyfriend. So I'm excited for new Al Kennedy. Then from Mystic Box, I was sent the two Sierra Simones, which are gorgeous. We have American Queen and then we have Priest. I'm very, very excited to have these. A lot of the book boxes now are coming like wrapped, so I have to take these off, but I'm excited for these. Definitely going to hang on to these. And then I also got the little booklet that came with the box. And then the next Bell book box, I guess, I think the last one came pretty close to when I did my last book haul, so I didn't share with you. But we have two authors that I'm really excited for. We have Jessica Hawkins, Something in the Way. This cover is so, so pretty. And then we have Emma Scott, who I love as well. So I'm excited to have these two. They are hardcover special editions signed. So if you're interested in either of those, I do have codes for Mystic Box and Bell Book Box down below if you would like them. I did go to Half Price Books and ended up finding Oathbringer, which I think is book three because I bought book four as the hard copy, but I'm going to get to these eventually. I read book one and I want to continue on, but it's gonna take me a long time. But I have this, and then I also got the Starless Sea at that library sale, and I'm excited to have this. I don't know much about it, but I heard it's just a very atmospheric kind of book, so I just like am obsessed with the cover. I really like the UK cover better, but it's okay. This was ended up being like a dollar, so I'm excited I got that. Then we have some that I was sent from the publisher. So we have Well Matched by Beth Jen DeLuca, which I'm very nervous about because I didn't like book two, but this is a single mom. I wonder if that's her friend in book one. I think it was her sister in book one. The guy is known for being the life of every party and he especially is known for his kilt at the Ren Fair and she needs to pretend to be his girlfriend at an upcoming uh, dinner. So that sounds really fun. I also have Payback's A Witch, which is a paranormal one from Berkeley and she's a witch and she is is ready to for revenge with a little help from her friends again it's a rom-com it kind of sounds like John Tucker must die and it sounds really cute so I'm excited to have that one and then I have it started with a dog which of course I had to get this because like dogs and this is Julia London it says thanks to an accidental phone swap two adorable rescue pups and a coffee house clash a holiday flirtation goes to the dogs and hilarity ensues so this sounds cute and then I was also sent forbidden to love by Siobhan Davis which is book two in this mafia series I haven't read book one yet I've heard really good things from my friend Brittany so I'm really excited to read that and then get to this one. They're just mafia romances. This one's a second chance romance. And then in my Target order, I also got Tangled Like Us by Chris and Becca Ritchie because I want to still collect their books and I hadn't had this one yet and they're pretty expensive. They're like at least $18 for these books. So I got them while I were on sale. I also had to grab the Hello Lovely box that had my favorite authors in there. So we have Unconditional by QB Tyler. This one is a Guardian Ward forbidden romance. I love I love this author so much. And then we have the special edition of Credence by Penelope Douglas. It's just gorgeous. I love it. And then we have Dark Notes by Pam Godwin, which is also a forbidden romance. So I think it was like their forbidden taboo box, but this one is a piano teacher student relationship. So I've read all three of those. And then I also got the paperback of I'm Only Wicked With You by Julie Ann Long. This is from the publisher. And this one, he's a battle-hardened son of a bastard raised in New York. And she's the sheltered blue blood darling of the London broadsheets. I don't know what London broadsheets are. Destined to marry a duke. And their worlds collide in a boarding house by the London docks. I'm excited. I need to read more Julie Ann Long. So I'm glad to have that one. And then from Sourcebooks, I was sent I Hate You More by Lucy Gilmore. This one is, 
I'm assuming it has to do with the dog because there's a cute dog on the cover. And it says she gave up pageant life the day she turned 18. Oh, and then she ends up showing her dog and he's like, <laughs> not a show dog dog and he's a vet so that sounds really cute I'm excited for that one I was also sent love chai and four other words by Annika Sharma so this is sent from source books as well and look how pretty that cover is I really like that her sister falls for someone that her parents don't like so she's determined to not be like her sister and find someone her family will approve of and then she meets her new neighbor and he's a psychologist and he's committed to being alone and they fall for each other that sounds really cute as well I'm excited for that and then I was also sent a finished copy of Vespertine by Margaret Rogerson this one is like a fantasy that has to do with a con the convent is attacked by possessed soldiers and she defends it by awakening an ancient spirit bound to a saint's relic so that sounds good I'm excited to have that one and then I was also sent Anthony Dower's new book which is Cloud Cuckooly and I really enjoyed All the Light We Cannot See so I'm very interested though this is like giant and this is set in Constantinople in the 15th century in a small town in present-day Idaho and on an interstellar ship decades from now I have no idea what this is going to be about, but we'll see if I get to that. So the last ones I have are all historical romances, so I'll just show you guys the covers and move on. So we have Eden's Angel, which I do have the sticker on. It wasn't too expensive. It was only $2 at Half Price Books, but this one looks so pretty. I really like that cover. I have Passion Fire, which is, I really like this, this like line of books. It's an Avon romance, but it's got like the whole design going on there. And then we have Green Fire. This one is by Saran Dawson. I don't know how you say that first name. And then I have Passion's Betrayal by Penelope Neary. I have a lot of her books, so I really want to read those. This one is just really pretty. And then I got a copy of Flowers from the Storm by Laura Kinsale. I already have a copy of this, but this was in a lot I bought. I didn't know it would have like a giant sticker on the front. So I have another copy of that one. I'll see if I can get that sticker off because my other copy has like a giant crease on the cover. So it'd be nice if I have that. I have Nan Ryan's The Countess Misbehaves. And um, I don't know if that's to do with a masquerade, but I have some Nan Ryan already. Midnight Masquerade by Shirley Busby, which I have a bunch of her books as well. And then I have Snowbound Weekend and Gambler's Love. So this one is by Amy Lauren. I don't even know if this is, no, this is not historical but it was in a lot I bought and then we have Deception's Kiss which is that one again with uh, this kind of line with the heart in the top corner we have Prim and Improper by Liz Ireland a nice wedding romance and I have a bunch of Lorraine Heath so I have Just Wicked Enough I am obsessed with Lorraine Heath so I want to buy more of her books I have The Duke and the Lady in Red which I already have but it came in that lot so I'm gonna give this away to a friend and then I do have two that I'm really excited about so we have A Rogue in Texas which has this step back it's so pretty and then we have Texas Destiny, which I don't think this one has a step back, no, but it's another Lorraine Heath. And then I do have Dancing at Midnight by Julia Quinn. I got the lot for like $20, and this book goes for $20. So I think half of the lot I ended up sending to Desiree because it had a lot of like old school Harlequins, and she was very excited. But I had to have this, so I got 20 books for $20 instead of one book for $20, even though I only wanted the one book. And then my last stack here, this is an insanely long video, I apologize, but we have Someone to Trust by Mary. Balog, which is a nice snowy historical. Then we have Taming Rafe by Suzanne Enoch, which she has the gorgeous covers. And then another Tracy and Warren we have Seduced by His Touch. Was this the same one I had? I don't think it was. I hope it wasn't. I don't know where that one went. <laughs> Oh no, okay, why do they look so similar? They're different. They both have like the same step back. They look so similar but they're not they're different okay and then I have uh Samantha James which has this step back here which is really pretty I really like that one and then I have a Rosemary Rogers but I think I got this one at Goodwill and it has this step back but it is Jewel of My Heart and it's a pirate romance so that's why I picked that up at Goodwill and then I found a Vanessa Kelly at Goodwill and it is Confessions of a Royal Bridegroom I need to read Vanessa Kelly soon I also got a couple Shelley Thacker so I have Silver and Sapphires and then I also ended up getting Midnight Raider and I really want to read her books because I've heard they're really good and I have To Have and to Hold by Patricia Gaffney which 
I really, really want to read soon. It's so pretty, and I've heard amazing things about this book. And I found 10 Ways to Be a Adored When Loving a Lord by Sarah McLean. I have Race Books, so of course I had to get it to add to my collection because I didn't have that one. I also got The Captive at Half Race Books, and I'm pretty sure that this one is a Marriage in Trouble romance, so... I'm really excited to read this one. I need to read more Grace Burroughs. I also found Cat Martin's Silk and Steel from Half Price Books, so I picked that up as well. And then I have Rangoon by Christine Monson, who I've heard really amazing things about as an old school historical romance author. So I picked up a couple of hers and I have one rare one coming in the mail and I'm hoping it's what I think it is. So I also have The Devil's Darling by Emily Carmichael, which is another classic historical. Oh, I found this at Goodwill and I I thought, why not? It's a Viking romance. It's literally called The Viking by Bobby Smith, so it was a dollar. And then the last one is As You Wish by Eloisa James. I found at Goodwill, too, and I needed to add that to my Eloisa James collection. And those are all the books that I've acquired recently. Thank you so much for watching this, and thank you again to the sponsor, Likewise. Remember, the app's completely free, so it does not cost you anything, and you can check out my profile down below and have some fun discovering some new reads that hopefully you enjoy based on what you've enjoyed in the past. The link is at the top of my description box, so check it out. And remember, I'm at PeaceLoveBooksXO, so you can check my profile out. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.